as the year is coming to a close, 6th of December is one of the biggest weekends with respect to Indian movie releases. The first one that I stepped into the theatre for was the comedy Pati Patni Aur Wo starring Karthik Aryan, Bhumi Pednekar and Ananya Pandey. The movie is directed by Happy Bhag Jaigi director Mudassar Aziz and is a remake of the B.R. Chopra directed film with the same name which released in 1978 and starred Sanjeev Kumar, Vidya Sinha and Ranjita in lead roles. Where the director claims that the movie has no connection with the original, I have to assure you that it is exactly what it is. It is a remake. The movie focuses on Abhinav Tyagi, played by Karthik Aryan, who meets Vedika, played by Bhumi Pednekar, and sparks immediately fly, and the two of them get married. But as Tapasya Singh, played by Ananya Pandey, enters Abhinav's life as an urban woman trying to purchase inexpensive land, there is instant attraction and the desire for Abhinav to venture into uncharted territory. Tapasya knows Abhinav is married, so the curious man has to come up with a way by which Tapasya will sympathize with him and maybe even entertain his company. So he comes up with the lie that his wife is having an affair unlike the original where the big lie is that the main character's wife has cancer which was way worse by the way the movie leads on to focus on the cover ups lies and moments of deceit heartbreak and redemption that take place among the three principal characters here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to go for the film or not the underwhelming aspects the music there has been somehow a trend or it can be better perceived to be a curse that there cannot be any commercial hindi film that will not include remakes of classic hindi songs the thought process with which the creators approach this is that there is an instant call back to the fond memories of the original and thus the song will be shared more what may be started off as a novelty idea has now turned into an never ending reality of hindi cinema pati patni aur wo's two most popular songs are both remakes one the iconic number performed by govinda and ravina tandon from the movie dulhe raja akhiyon se goli mare compared to the original both from a music and choreography standpoint is no match to the original Second, Dheeme Dheeme, a song that was literally released this year has been remade into a Hindi movie. Now though it's become more about just remaking anything rather than even going down memory lane. The only takeaway from the music in this film is Tu Hi Yaar Mera, sung beautifully by Arijit Singh. In the same year where we have had films like Kabir Singh and Gully Boy that featured beautiful original music, I don't understand why this trend never comes to an eventual end. Second half problems. See what happens with a situational comedy is that the confusion among the several characters in this film can reach to a point where it gets completely exhausting. Pati patni aur wo which made you genuinely laugh at its gags and made you smile for the relationship Abhinav and Vedika shared gets lost in the kiske saath affair hai. Ho, iske saath acha ye kaun hai formula. There are sequences just placed as fillers until there is some kind of closure provided to the viewers when the characters finally meet. The parents are trying to figure out why the relationship is having problems with the same judgmental Indian parents persona that the other person's kid may have messed up. There is an unnecessary drunk sequence where we see the hero binge drink trying to suppress his sorrows, leading for him to break public property, even further leading to a highly forced upon chase sequence with the police. So in many ways the charm and wit of the movie especially in the second half when we as viewers are just trying to understand how things will conclude gets very tiring the good chemistry the highlight of the film beyond its performances is the chemistry shared between several characters it becomes essential for any situational comedy that the actors deliver dialogues like a natural back and forth between individuals the screenplay and dialogues written by mudassar aziz provides that ease in scene shared especially between kartik and apar shakti and kartik and bhumi kartik's annoyance with apar shakti and the latter's loyalty no matter how morally wrong kartik's actions are showcase some of the funniest moments from the movie kartik and bhumi This first scene only gives you a picture of why the characters and the actors were meant to share the screen together in a comedy. Vedika's honest yet cheeky humor which is matched by Karthik's rather horny and surprising one-liners really account for some of the greatest moments from the film. The performances. The movie's biggest strength is that all of the performances holistically worked wonders. Ananya Pandey has the least amount of range to show off with respect to the material given to her, but she did as much as the character could present without being too overbearing or inconsequential. Apar Shakti, just like Mohammad Zishan Ayub a few years ago, has made his mind up to play the best friend of the leading man in every film. Despite getting typecast as the best friend in every movie, it is undeniable that Apar Shakti is a natural on the big screen. He has the best lines. 
in the film. Him gulping down his pan before he tries to mouth a few sentences in English or every step of the way trying to cover his best friend's tracks so that he goes scot free. I hope Apar Shakti gets the opportunity in future projects to showcase something other than just being that funny best friend. Karthik Aryan is in his comfort zone in this film because of which the actor is convincing in his part as Abhinav Tyagi, a man who keeps on talking about his first girlfriend, is satisfied with mediocrity and is never appreciative of the loving and loyal wife he has, constantly seeking for something that is going to provide him momentary happiness. From a character standpoint, Karthik does not present anything new, but at the same time, these are the kind of roles he cashed in the most in the box office with. I have to say though, it really seems like the actor is trying to possess the same mannerisms and comic timing of Akshay Kumar, especially in this film. His awkward laugh in this film is exactly like Akshay Kumar's in Namaste London. Finally, the star of the show is Bhumi Pednekar, who is sexy, opinionated and the ideal catch for anyone honestly. Every time Karthik's character was gravitating towards Ananya's character, I wondered who wouldn't be with a woman like Vedika. Loyal, beautiful and extremely funny, Bhumi has this effortless quality of being vulnerable in emotional moments, drop dead gorgeous in a red sari and give the main lead a run for his money if he tries to act smart. Definitely the highlight performer. Finally, I want to conclude by saying that this movie has done a lot of corrective work from the original material. Moments of regressiveness or portrayals of women that were demure and were more like pushovers have been transformed, taking into account the social climate of today. The dialogue in the trailer which was implying marital rape has been altered. The women do not stand up for bullshit and make their own choices, independent of familial or societal pressure. So my assumptions that the film would be regressive and sexist were actually not true and I was pleasantly surprised by that. It can be your personal opinion whether or not a character like Abhinav should even get a redemption arc for what he did. But from a narrative standpoint, the women were portrayed as having their own unique voice in this film. Go into the theatre if you want to witness another breezy romantic comedy featuring Karthik Aryan doing the same chocolate boy antics. This film, however, is not something which will make you uncontrollably laugh. A good attempt and a new take on a classic Hindi film. But seriously, can we see something new from Karthik? And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.